Hey there, fellow dog lovers. Welcome to a world where you and your furry friend can thrive together. I'm Zach George, and I'm thrilled to be your guide on this exciting journey of dog training. Together, we'll explore the best ways to communicate and bond with your dog. I've always been passionate about dogs. They're amazing creatures with so much love and energy to share. Over the years, I've had the privilege of training countless pups, each with their own unique personality and quirks. And let me tell you, there's nothing more rewarding than seeing a dog and their human understand each other on a deeper level. My training philosophy is simple, positive reinforcement, patience, and consistency. These are the keys to successful training. It's about building a strong bond with your dog based on trust and mutual respect. This bond is the foundation of all effective training. We'll dive deeper into these principles throughout this guide, ensuring you have all the tools you need. Remember, every dog is unique and learns at their own pace. It's important to be patient and understanding. So, whether you're welcoming a new furry friend into your home or looking to brush up on some training skills, you've come to the right place. We're here to help you every step of the way. Get ready to embark on an adventure that will transform your relationship with your canine companion. Let's get started and make some unforgettable memories together. Training your dog isn't just about teaching them tricks. It's about building an unbreakable bond based on communication and understanding. Think of it as learning each other's language. When you train your dog, you teach them to understand your expectations. And in turn, you learn to read their body language and understand their needs. This mutual understanding creates a deeper connection. It strengthens your relationship and makes living together more enjoyable. A well-trained dog is a happy dog. They feel secure knowing their place in the family and what's expected of them. Training also provides mental stimulation for your dog, keeping them sharp and engaged. It's a wonderful way to bond with your furry friend while providing them with a sense of purpose. So, invest the time and effort in training. Your dog will thank you for it. Just like us, every dog is an individual with their own personality quirks, strengths, and weaknesses. Each dog brings something special to the table, making them unique in their own way. Understanding your dog's breed, age, and personality is crucial for effective training. This knowledge helps in creating a tailored approach that suits your dog's specific needs. Certain breeds are predisposed to specific traits. Recognizing these traits can help you anticipate your dog's behavior and training needs. For example, Herding dogs like Border Collies are naturally intelligent and eager to please, making them quick learners. Their high energy levels and sharp minds require consistent mental and physical stimulation. Age plays a significant role in a dog's learning capacity. Younger dogs, especially puppies, are like sponges but need more guidance. Puppies have shorter attention spans and require more patience and repetition. They thrive on positive reinforcement and playful training methods. Older dogs may learn at a slower pace but often have better focus. Their life experiences can make them more receptive to training. It's essential to tailor your training methods to your dog's individual needs. Customizing your approach ensures that your dog remains engaged and motivated. Observe your dog's behavior and energy levels. This observation helps in planning the intensity and duration of training sessions. Some dogs are naturally more energetic and playful, while others are calmer and more reserved. Understanding this can help in managing their activities. Adapt your training sessions accordingly, keeping them fun and engaging. A happy dog is a motivated learner. Remember, training should be a positive experience for both you and your furry friend. Celebrate small victories and enjoy the journey together. Creating a positive and conducive learning environment is crucial for successful dog training. Choose a familiar, comfortable, and distraction-free area where your dog can focus on you. Avoid areas with loud noises, unfamiliar people, or other pets that might distract your pup. Keep training sessions short and sweet, especially for puppies and dogs new to training. Start with 5 to 10 minute sessions and gradually increase the duration as your dog progresses. Remember, it's better to have multiple short sessions than one long overwhelming one. Use a cheerful and encouraging tone of voice throughout the training process. Dogs are highly attuned to our emotions. If you're stressed or frustrated, your dog will sense it, making training more challenging. Approach each session with patience, positivity, and a sense of humor. Your dog will mirror your energy. Section 5. Sit. Teaching your dog to sit is one of the most fundamental commands and a great starting point for beginners. It's a simple yet powerful way to establish communication and trust between you and your furry friend. 
It's a simple behavior that lays the foundation for more complex commands. Mastering this can make future training sessions much easier and more enjoyable for both of you. Here's how to do it. First, lure with a treat. This is an effective way to get your dog's attention and guide their movements. Hold a tasty treat close to your dog's nose and slowly move it upwards and slightly back over their head. This motion will naturally encourage them to sit. As their nose follows the treat, their rear end will naturally lower into a sitting position. Second, say the cue. This helps them associate the action with the command. As your dog starts to sit, clearly say the word sit. Third, reward immediately. Positive reinforcement is crucial for effective training. The moment your dog's rear touches the ground, give them the treat and praise enthusiastically. This reinforces the behavior and makes them eager to repeat it. Repeat this process several times, keeping the sessions short and fun. Consistency is key. Short, frequent sessions are more effective than long, infrequent ones. With practice, your dog will associate the word sit with the action and happily oblige. Soon you'll have a well-behaved pup ready to learn even more commands. Section 6. Stay. Once your dog has mastered sit, you can move on to stay. This command teaches your dog impulse control and is essential for various situations, from greeting guests politely to walking calmly on a leash. Start small. Ask your dog to sit and then take a step back. If they remain seated, reward them with a treat and praise. Gradually increase distance. Gradually increase the distance you move away from your dog, rewarding them for staying put. Add distractions. Once your dog can stay reliably at a distance, introduce mild distractions like toys or other family members. Remember to keep training sessions positive and rewarding. If your dog breaks the stay, calmly guide them back to the starting position and try again. Patience and consistency are key to success. Section 7. Come. A reliable recall is crucial for your dog's safety and well-being. It ensures they'll return to you when called, even in distracting environments. Here's how to teach this essential command. Start in a controlled environment. Begin in a quiet, fenced-in area with minimal distractions. Use a positive tone. Enthusiastically call your dog's name followed by come. Reward generously. When your dog comes to you, shower them with praise, treats, and affection. Practice recall frequently in various locations, gradually increasing the level of distraction. Make coming to you the most rewarding experience for your dog, and they'll always come running when called. Section 8. Leave it. Teaching your pup impulse control. Leave it is a valuable command that teaches your dog to resist temptation and focus on your instructions. It's particularly useful for preventing them from picking up dangerous objects or engaging in unwanted behaviors. 1. Present a treat. Hold a treat in your closed fist and present it to your dog. 2. Ignore attempts to get the treat. Your dog will likely sniff, paw, or try to lick the treat. Ignore these attempts. 3. Reward for looking away. As soon as your dog looks away from your hand, say leave it and give them the treat from your other hand. Practice this command with various objects, gradually increasing the level of temptation. With consistent training, your dog will learn to resist even the most enticing distractions. Section 9. Positive Vibes Only, Rewarding Good Behavior. Positive reinforcement is the most effective way to train your dog. It's about rewarding desired behaviors, making them more likely to occur in the future. When your dog follows a command correctly, immediately reward them with something they find enjoyable. Treats are a classic and highly effective reward, especially for food-motivated dogs. Choose small, tasty treats that your dog loves. Praise and affection are also powerful reinforcers. A simple good dog, or a gentle pat, can go a long way in encouraging your furry friend. Remember to be consistent with your rewards. If you only reward your dog sometimes, they'll be less likely to repeat the desired behavior. Consistency is key to success. Section 10. Troubleshooting 101. Conquering Common Training Hiccups. Every dog learns at their own pace and encountering a few bumps along the road is perfectly normal. Here are some common training challenges and how to overcome them. Distractibility. If your dog is easily distracted, gradually increase the level of distraction during training sessions. Start in a quiet environment and slowly introduce more distractions as your dog progresses. Lack of focus. Keep training sessions short and engaging. Use high-value treats and toys to keep your dog motivated. Stubbornness. Some breeds are naturally more independent and may require more patience and persistence. 
break down commands into smaller, more manageable steps and reward even the smallest successes. Remember, patience and consistency are crucial. If you're struggling with a particular issue, don't hesitate to seek guidance from a certified professional dog trainer. Section 11. Celebrate every win. You've got this. Congratulations on embarking on this rewarding journey of dog training. Remember, every step your dog takes, no matter how small, is a reason to celebrate. Acknowledge and praise their efforts, and don't get discouraged by setbacks. Make training a part of your daily routine. Even short five-minute sessions can make a big difference. The more you practice, the stronger your bond with your furry friend will become. And remember, training should be a fun and enjoyable experience for both of you. Now go out there and make me proud. Share your training progress and celebrate your successes. Your furry friend will thank you for it.